Hello, my name is Simon Clark, and I'm the author of the elementary and pre-intermediate editions of In Company 3.0. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about helping your students to improve their communication via email. There are two really important points to make here. Firstly, for a lot of people, email will be their primary means of business communication. Secondly, it's a means of communication where the writer has time to think and there are fewer excuses for getting things wrong. It is also probably the communication skill that we as teachers can do most to improve. The damage from a badly worded email, whether from factual errors in the information or by causing unintended offence, can be enormous and it's not difficult to avoid. Fortunately, there are some simple pieces of advice which you can give learners to help them communicate better via email in English. Let's start with something obvious. Always put a subject line, just two or three words which will make the purpose and content of the email clear. It doesn't need to be a full grammatically correct sentence. Something like confirmation meeting Tuesday or product range price update is sufficient to make life easier for the recipient. The key to improving writing is to provide appropriate models. As a teacher, you can really help your students simply by providing a limited range of standard example emails which cover the common situations. These could be requesting or giving information, making or confirming arrangements, apologising for mistakes and so on. You should encourage your learners to write short, simple sentences and to adopt a neutral tone which is neither over-familiar nor over-formal. It's probably safer to say dear rather than hi. A good rule to follow is to use an initial sentence such as I hope you're well or it was good to talk to you the other day before launching into the business in hand. Above all, think of the reader. It doesn't really take so much longer to follow standard conventions of spelling and punctuation. It makes text easier and faster to read and avoids misunderstandings. This is one area where it's not really so difficult to predict the kind of language that will be required and therefore provide students with a useful set of tools. I encourage you to spend time on this area of business communication. A few simple steps will pay dividends for your students.